Ah, Gary's Mod. What a game. So many complex things to remember, so many difficult challenges to overcome. But in Gary's Mod, things don't have to be difficult. So here's five mods that make your life in Gary's Mod a lot easier. First things first, we have the No Collide Everything tool. So this is going to add a new tool into the settings. So pressing left click will turn off collisions on everything but the world, which means that if you were to have a prop here, well, it now has No Collide, which, I mean, we've already seen that quite a few times. I mean, we have the No Collide tool, there's no need to really do this. But where this gets interesting is if you press right click, now, this thing won't even collide with the map anymore, and that is pretty damn cool. So have you ever wanted to put a prop into a house or something, but of course you couldn't do it because the map would forbid it? Well now you will never fear a map getting in your way again because you can simply just no collide everything. And obviously, like some people might wonder, well what's the point of this? Well, you can do cool things like this. So if you like, um, what do they call those in Roblox, obbies? Pretty much parkour. If you like parkour and you wanted to make like some kind of a parkour course or something, well now you can kind of create parts of your own map. And mind you, you can also save these and come back to them later. Although of course now there's no collision so you, you can't climb it. No worries because we can re-enable the collisions with the R key. And now, what do you know, collision is back but it is still stuck in the wall. So overall some pretty cool stuff. And definitely an incredibly handy feature for anyone who wants to make maps or customize maps to their liking. Also, I should probably mention this, but as you can see with ragdolls, well, they do collide with themselves. However, equipping this and holding shift and left click is going to remove that function. So now, whoa, look at that. You can do all sorts of crazy things with this. All right, next up, we're gonna have to whip out our GAT for this. By our GAT, I mean our MP7. Now let's go ahead and call upon the Combine. Now, every time you do kill the Combine, their weapon will fly at you automatically. Pretty cool mod, and it's super basic, so there's not really gonna be a lot to talk about. But like, for instance, the shotgunner here, we go ahead and just take him out. Well, look at that, now we have some more shotgun ammo. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like on mass. Thank you for the shotgun, thank you for the shotgun, and thank you for the shotgun. Now I really want to know what is the distance of this, so we're going ahead and- oh my god. <laughs> okay, so it's not quite as far as I thought it was going to be. I mean it's- okay, never mind. It's way further than I thought, but it doesn't go all the way, so it's pretty amazing how far it will go though. I mean, if we would have just moved over, that would have been good enough. Go and try that one more time, all the way from here. Oh, there we go. Pretty cool. It just, it kind of gravitates towards you. But of course, you know, you do have to put in a little bit of work just to make sure that it does land in your hands. But if you're someone who is always hard pressed for ammo, well, this is definitely going to be the mod for you. All right, next up we have a very interesting one. It is the follow me props mod. So simply pick up a prop and let it go. What you'll notice is the prop is going to mystically follow you. So now if you've ever wanted to have a prop with you at all times, well, gee golly, you now have those props with you. And the best thing is, is I'm pretty sure this does work for entities, although of course it's not gonna work for balls because you'll just swallow them whole. But any entity that you do pick up, it should, in theory, follow you. It's just the problem is, is I don't have any entities that I can pick up. So now you don't have to worry about getting some kind of an inventory mod or anything, although those are pretty cool as well. The next time you find a prop that you think is pretty neat, you don't gotta worry about having to haul it around with your gravity gun, cause it'll be chasing you everywhere you go. And then of course when you do decide that you've had enough, simply pick up the prop once again, let it go, and it should in theory just, well, stop following you. Although these, uh, these props are, uh, a little persistent. Alright, I've had enough. Oh, and by the way, you thought that you can get away from dying? Well, unfortunately, even when you die, the prop is gonna find its way back to you like a little pet. It's pretty cool stuff. Next up, and this is going to be for those who love spelunking, and that is going to be the sprint crouch. So as you can see, we can crouch like normal, and I mean, this is fine, but when you're in some horror maps and the vents are just like a kilometer long, it can get a little obnoxious having to crawl through a vent for so long. Well, my friends, may I present to you the crouching sprint key. That's right, all you have to do is press shift, while crouching, and you will now sprint crouch. 
which is something I absolutely wish was in every single video game. Now, just to show you guys what it looks like, here's the normal crouch, and then here's the sprint. As you can see, we are just walking a little bit faster. Kind of funny how simple of a mod this is, but that's also why I chose five mods because, well, none of these were big enough for their own video, and I thought that all of these together could help out some people that want to enjoy Gary's mod a little bit more. I figure most people probably won't need most of these, but maybe one of you out there will need one of these, and that's why I'm happy this video exists. All right, next up in this one is going to be extremely interesting and handy. And well, first things first, make sure that you do have the zoom function binded because what it's going to let you do is it's gonna let you shoot while you're zoomed in. All right, so in order to do this, make sure that you do go into the console right here and pick a key that you want. I'm gonna choose the X key and then you wanna type in bind, then my key is X in this case, toggle underscore zoom. And what that's going to do is it's going to let that key pretty much let you zoom in and, well, you don't have to keep holding the key down. And now you can shoot while zoomed in, which is such a lifesaver because, god damn it, I am sick of having to guesstimate how to shoot someone from all the way across the map. Or, of course, having to whip out the crossbow because, well, it does get a little stale after a while. Alright, now, what weapons does this work for? And, well, it works for pretty much every weapon. Although, be mindful that it's not going to increase your accuracy. So, if you weren't really getting a whole lot of good shots to begin with, the zoom is probably not going to really help all that much. But, it is going to let you see the NPC a lot better. Although, the recoil is also going to be a lot more apparent. But, hey, the energy ball is perfect for this. And mind you guys, this does not work only for the Half-Life 2 weapons, although if you do use it on weapons like the Modern Warfare base, it's a little strange. Although, of course, it's a lot better when you're not aiming down sights, but it's also not quite as handy? Although, wait, maybe not. Alright, hold up, hold up. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Oh my god. Okay, the flashes is a little annoying, but you guys get the gist of it. It's a pretty handy little mod. It's not a whole lot, but it's something I wish was in the game, especially when we took a look at that one mod that adjusted the sway animations and view bob. I'll put that one in the top right corner. I hated that you could zoom in, but not shoot. And now this mod fixes that problem. So there you guys have it. That was five mods that hopefully should make your game a lot more enjoyable, or at least fix some of the issues that might have plagued you over these years. As always though guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. You can leave a like or subscribe if you totally want. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video and until next time, thanks for watching and farewell.